Are you ready to supercharge your website's performance? In today's video, I will show you how to integrate Bunny CDN with a WordPress website. Now, let's get started. First, let's start by creating a pull zone for our website. Log into your Bunny CDN account and click on Add Pull Zone. Enter the URL of your website in the source URL field, including the correct protocol, HTTP or HTTPS. Choose WordPress as the platform type. Take note of the pull zone name for later use. Next, we'll configure the W3 Total Cache plugin. You can also use WP Rocket or other cache plugins that have the option to add a CDN. Now, to continue, install and activate the W3 Total Cache plugin on your WordPress website. Go to General Settings and enable the CDN. Choose Generic Mirror as the CDN type. Save the settings and purge the caches. Go to the CDN tab, paste the pull zone hostname from Bunny CDN, and save the settings again. Another option is to use the Bunny CDN plugin instead of the W3 Total Cache plugin. This method is just as simple and will give us the same results. Deactivate the W3 Total Cache plugin and install the Bunny CDN plugin. In the plugin settings, paste the pull zone name you copied earlier. Make sure the pull zone name matches the one you created in Bunny CDN. Save the changes and check if the CDN is working. Finally, let's verify that the CDN is working correctly. By checking the image source URL, we'll ensure that our website is fully integrated with Bunny CDN. Load your website and inspect an image by right-clicking on it and selecting Inspect. The image source URL should be pointing to the Bunny CDN hostname. If you have any server-side caching enabled on your website, Make sure to deactivate it before creating the pull zone. Thank you for watching my video.